Okay. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do the Sada Huck from Rockstar solo. Solo has been played by Orianti and uh, it happens in the scale of F sharp minor. Okay, so it starts on the 12th fret on the A string and goes like So that's uh, A12, D11, D12 and then slide from D12 to D14. You repeat that twice. The second time she does. So it plays 14, D14 two more times. So and then goes back to D12 twice. D11 twice. So the first two lines are. Then this happens between A14 and A12. So 14, 12, 14. And slides to 16. So 14, 12, 14. So, so 14, 12, 14, and then 14 to 16. So first three lines are. And then slides back from 16 to 14. And then 12 to 14, hammer on with the vibrato. So. Yeah. Now there's a run. Now this is a very. This is the way I look at the F sharp minor scale. It goes down. Especially this is like more like a pentatonic sort of a run. It goes down like. Right. But you can even start the run from the twelfth fret. So it's actually doing. But like all hammer on, so thumb, pick, hammer on, pick, hammer on, pick, hammer on, pick, hammer on. Okay, there's a little confusion about whether it's or is it? You can do any one of the two, depending on what sounds correct to you. But I, I prefer to do and then go into the minor position. So what I'm doing is actually E12 hammer on to E14, A12 hammer on to A14, D14 hammer on to D16, G14 hammer on to G16 and then you play uh, B14 hammer it on to B15 and pull off and actually hammer on back to G16 and then play B14 again and then B17 twice and then B14 so it will sound like so till now we have so treat this as one section now comes the next part where you are playing between the ending second octave position of F sharp minor scale which is right so he bars the B she bars the B14 and the E14 and goes so we played second string first first string second so it's like B14 E14 and then slides from E16 to E17 but plays E16 first and now plays it again and slides to 17 so you get you can do this sort of a vibrato or you could play it by with a bend but I would prefer sliding being more precise over here then the second phrase again she repeats but this time repeats this note two more times so first note is second time it is so that's E16 again, E16 again, E14 so so the two phrases are now hear this phrase so this is B14, E14, E16, E17 back to E16 E14 then B17 and then back to E17.
So you can use your little finger also to bar. Then you slide from G18 to G16. Then you play G14 and then you play D16 and D14. So this should sound like. So you have. This is really tricky phrase because she does B17, then slides back from G14 to G13, plays D16, and then slides back from G13 uh, to G14. So this sounds like. This will take some time to practice. So the soul phrases. And now you go back to this, remember this position? She uses A12, A and then E14. So it's That's A12, E14, back to A12. Then you don't just play A14, you slide to A16. So then uh, D14 and D16. So and then play G14 and then play G16. So you get. Then you went 16 to 18 and bring it back down to 16. So you get. And then she plays G14, D16, and then B17, back to G14, again G14, and then goes to G16 and stops. So this sounds like. And you can add those little vibratos. So this whole phrase is. Okay, and then you have. Then she plays this phrase starting from the fourth string, D14. She plays D14 and hammers on to D16. And then she plays G13 and uh, hammers on to G14. Pull off to G13 and then hammer on back to D14. So you get. Now use your middle finger to slide back from A16 to A14. So you get. So and then again you've done this phrase in that. Uh, uh, just that's the last phrase. But she doesn't go all the way down to the third string. It's again A12, E14, A12, then slide from A14 to A16, and then play D14, D16, and then back to D14. So this will sound like. And now we come to a new phrase where she plays slides from B12 to B14. And then plays E12 and then E14 twice and then back to E12 twice. So this sounds like. Yeah. Okay. And then second time she plays the same thing but more notes. So she, she plays E14 uh, two more times. So first phrase. Then she goes a big jump. She does it from B17 to B19 hammer on, and then E17 to E uh, and E19 you have to play, and then bend 19 to 21. So there are two bends to 21. First time it's a straight bend. Second time you bend into a vibrato. So you have.
and then now this phrase is bend 19 to 21 hold it there and play it down pull off to E17 again bend 19 to 21 and then bring it down to 19 so and the last phrase which is E14 hammer, uh, E16 hammer on to E17 hammer on pull off is a very common rock phrase blues phrase actually and ham and hammer the same fret on to B17 so you get and then slide back from G16 to G14 and then play G13 to D14 so this will sound like so you have to, even though it looks like I'm sliding all the way from G14 to G16 to G13 I'm actually stopping at 14 and then she does she plays G14 then bends up from 16 to 18 on the G string only then plays B17 so it sounds like then plays down the third string from uh, 18 to 16 so it sounds like then she goes up to D14 so it's D14 to A16 D14 and then D16 twice and then the last phrase which is D14 uh, and then A16 to 14 slide then play A12 then bend it down bend 16, 14 down to 16 and bring it back up pull off to 12 and then play the last note which is E14 so the last phrase is solo slowly is yes.